Well, it seems like a, a kind of unusual opportunity and I, I was sort of surprised. You know, I've never been offered a tree before. Taking advantage of the skills other people have, it's also uh, taking advantage of their thinking processes. I'm interested in making things because I think there's intelligence embedded in how things are made. So working with a cabinet maker, with Cliff, he thinks about the meat, how the like how the two panels of the screen meet, and the details of that joining in a way that I can't even begin to think about. And the screen printing also, how the inks meet the material, the wood, and the different kinds of inks that are available. And if I were to do this project myself without the collaboration with Gary, I, it would take me years to understand everything that he's bringing to our you know weeks together. I think that abstraction in art is always related to things in the world and uh, my work is about the world in a lot of different ways. I use the material of the world and it's evocative in a lot of ways and metaphoric in other ways, in, you know, in terms of how I mix things together. I thought about making something that uh, was appreciative of the value of the material and uh, appreciative of its value in relationship to being here, in relationship to this place. You know, I haven't done this before. You know, I haven't worked with that, those kinds of uh, qualities of material and process. So the show in the end involves these screens which are, are mobile and can be shown in lots of different places, but they're installed in relationship to the windows that are in the room, which are like eyes in some way, generally speaking. And, um, and, and then I've, I'm installing the ceiling. Um, so I, I'm calling it a situation rather than a piece of sculpture or an installation. Thank you.